Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, Munchaw Piper here. Well today's video is entitled Let's Talk About Tobacco Reviews. Now what do I mean by let's talk about tobacco reviews? Well there are several individuals on YouTube that provide tobacco reviews, uh, some very in-depth, some not so much about certain tobaccos. Tobaccos they have tried and tobaccos that they want to uh, give you an idea of uh, what they're like. Now this video is targeted mainly toward the brand new pipe smoker or the intermediate pipe smoker. Uh, the pipe smoker that has no idea about blends, they don't know what direction to go, uh, should I try a vapor? Should I try an English? Should I be an aromatic guy? Um, this video is mainly for them. So what I want you to do is I want you to be mindful when you watch these reviews. Uh, and I want you to take the reviews with a grain of salt. Now, what, I'm, what do I mean by that? For you people that are in foreign countries, here in the United States, we have a saying. The saying is, take what the person is saying with a grain of salt. What that means is, be open-minded, be a little skeptical, and do your own research. Uh, so that's kind of what you need to do with, uh, with these YouTube uh, tobacco reviews. And let me explain to you why. As a new pipe smoker, um, at least when I was starting out, I had no idea. I don't know. I, I don't know what a Virginia is. I don't know what a Oriental is. I don't know what they taste like. I just know that you take tobacco and you put it in in a pipe. So if I, if you get on YouTube as a brand new pipe smoker and you start watching videos and someone says, oh, I don't like this or I don't like that, then you might tend to shy away from something that someone does not like, especially someone who is popular in the YTPC and someone who is, uh, has a lot of um, uh, importance. Uh, they may have a lot of subscribers and uh, those people are uh, uh, new pipe smokers and intermediate pipe smokers tend to listen to. Okay, so let me give you an idea. I'm going to do a little skit here about what I'm talking about so that you can understand a little bit better um, where I'm coming from. Now, I have considered doing um, tobacco reviews uh, in the past, but I'm still rolling it around in my mind. I'm trying to figure out what direction I want to go. Uh, I may do them and I may decide not to do them. So right now I'm sort of on the fence about it. Okay, so let me start this skit and then when we're when I'm done, I'll explain to you uh, what you just saw. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mutton Chop Piper and today I'm going to be reviewing Russell Let's Firestorm. Now Russell Let's Firestorm is a loose, loose leaf tobacco it's a vapor, which means it has Virginia and Perique. The Virginia in this tobacco is very sweet, and the Perique, uh, they put in just enough to give it a sort of a cinnamon toast taste. Uh, if you ever had cinnamon toast, then that's kind of what this tastes like. Um, the Virginias are very sweet, and um, it's a very complex blend. Um, it has a lot of flavor, deep flavor, and um, it's a good tobacco to sort of uh, sit back, kind of pick out the different components in the tobacco. Unlike another tobacco, which is a vapor, uh, that, toba that tobacco is Dunhill uh, Elizabethan mixture. Now Elizabethan mixture, I don't really like all that much. Uh, it has base, one basic flavor, I don't really all I can taste in it is the Virginias. Uh, it is uh, very finely, it's a very fine tobacco. It's almost like hair. Uh, it's hard to control. It's hard to put in your pipe. 
Um, and uh, but Russell lets firestorm uh, the tobacco. Uh, uh, loose leaf is is very coarse. Uh, it's easy to pack. Uh, it's easy to light, and it's easy to keep lit. It it uh, stays lit all the way to the bottom of the bowl, and um, you have flavor all the way to the bottom of the bowl. Unlike Dunhill Elizabethan mixture, which about halfway through, it goes flatter than when it started. So, uh, but uh, compared to Russellette's Firestorm, uh, this is the tobacco that, that I really enjoy, and 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 I really plan on purchasing more of this tobacco in the future. Well, that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. All right, so that's the end of my skit. Now, what did you notice in that skit? I was talking about Firestorm and how much I like Firestorm. But in the same video, I was telling you how much I dislike Dunhill Elizabethan mixture. Now, I want, I want to make sure that you understand. I love Dunhill Elizabethan mixture. It is also a Virginia Prix, and I like it. I just used it as a prop. But, you understand what I'm saying? Just because I don't like a particular blend, or it does not agree with my palate, um, and if I put forth uh, a negative reaction to that tobacco, that should not preclude you from saying, well, just because he doesn't like it, that doesn't mean I won't like it. So I'm going to try some just to see how, see if it's good or not. Um, let me give you an example. There are a lot of people out there that really don't like early morning pipe from Dunhill. Uh, now I really like early morning pipe and I'll explain to you why here in a second. Something else that you need to be conscious of when you're buying tobacco or when you're choosing the blends that you decide that you want to uh, smoke is your lifestyle. Um, let's say that you are a painter. Uh, you paint for a living. You've never really held a nine to five job. You make your money by painting, uh, painting on canvas. And every day you can smoke a pipe all day long. So you require or you want a tobacco that's going to challenge your palate. You want something that you can pick out the different blends and that, uh, that is really flavorful. For you, early morning pipe, since it is sort of a really light English, you may not like that. You may say, no, I, I want something that's going to challenge my palate. I don't want something that's going to be simple. Let's turn to the next person. The next person works eight to five. The only times they get a chance to smoke their pipe is when they go to and from work or in the evening. Now, I'm in that category. I work eight to five. So in the morning, I smoke early morning pipe every morning. Why? Because early morning pipe is a light English. I know the flavor I'm going to get. I don't have to think about it. I throw it in the pipe, light it, and go to work. Put it in the pipe, light it, and come home from work. At night when I'm watching TV or listening to music or reading a book, that's when I want tobacco that's going to challenge me. So. Your lifestyle has a lot to do with the type of tobacco you gravitate toward. So keep that in mind. Um, and just because someone on a video says, well, I really don't like Elizabethan mixture. I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the way it packs. I don't like the way it's this or that. Each individual has their own palate. Each individual has uh, their, uh, their own uh, likes and dislikes of tobaccos. Um, I personally love Oriental Ford English blends because for me they smoke cooler and I love the flavor. I'm not really partial to straight Virginias because for me they smoke a little hotter and they basically have, you know, they're sweet and they have one flavor. Um, and I do like some of them. I do force myself to smoke some of them, but the main reason I don't like those is because they're hard for me to control. But that doesn't mean you should not try it, because 
just because it's hard for me to control a straight Virginia doesn't mean, okay, well, it's hard for him to control and I'm not doing it. No, don't think that way. Take the reviews with a grain of salt. If you decide that a light English is a blend that you would you, you would like, then purchase one. Don't go by what someone else tells you uh, their likes and dislikes. So let's review. Um, if you review, if you watch a tobacco review, take the review with a grain of salt. Do your own research. Uh, and if you think it's a blend that you would enjoy, then purchase it. Just because the reviewer doesn't quite like that blend or uh, he doesn't like the taste or he doesn't like the texture, that doesn't mean that you won't. Uh, I think basically uh, a review in my point, in my, uh, the way I look at what a review should be, it shouldn't be whether I like it or not. It's the taste that I'm getting, the texture of the tobacco, how well it packs and how well it lights. So there you go. Uh, take this video with a grain of salt. <laughs> and uh, uh, if you see a video that, uh, that puts down a certain tobacco blend, uh, give it a shot. Give it a try and see what you think. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Until my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.